Let's use our Jones vectors to look at a few polarizations that we know and love. Like, for instance, vertical polarization. So the E field going up and down. If we think of it coming at us from the sun, this would be the one that can go to zero at just the right angle, like we learned from Fresnel's equations. If we're going to describe vertical polarization, that means the horizontal amplitude must be zero. And as long as we're just dealing with one sinusoid, we might as well let the phase be zero. Why, why have to write the phase phi y is zero? So this gets rid of the horizontal component, and this, we just have one, why keep up with phase? Then we can get it down to this simple horizontal component zero, um, y vertical component e naught y. So that is vertical polarization. We could also do horizontal polarization. Horizontal. Well, in this case, we'd make E naught Y equal to zero. And if we do that, and we just have E naught X, the horizontal, if you only have one sinusoid, you don't need to keep up with phase. So let's go ahead and make phi X equal to zero. And then you can write the Jones vector as simply E naught X over zero. There you go. So those are the two what we call linear polarizations, horizontal and vertical. We could also do just an arbitrary linear polarization. And we could say it's alpha, that's an angle, from the x-axis. All right. Now this is going to need both e naught x and e naught y but we actually want to still set the phases equal to zero. And let me show you why. Let me bring back that illustration again. So here is that same graphic. We have our horizontally uh, polarized light, linearly polarized light, and we let them go like this. And if you imagine adding them, right now they're both going to make one this way. And then if you let them go, they're going to make one this way. So if we want this to make some polarization at some angle, um, if it's going to do this at some angle alpha, we need these two to be in phase. Right? They need to be going together like that. So just for this state, we'll assume that they're in phase. Let's see. So we'll say phi x equals phi y equals 0. And then you would end up writing it like this, e naught cosine alpha e naught sine alpha, where e naught is the total amplitude going at some angle alpha. And then, of course, you break it into components. So these are Jones vectors, but they're not quite finished. We want to normalize them. We want to write the normalized version of these Jones vectors. Normalized. And um, to normalize, You divide by the magnitude of the total vector, which is the square root of E x times E x star plus E y times E y star and the square root. Right, so each one of these will give you the magnitude of, of x and y, and then you combine them that way to get the total magnitude. So if you look at it, we can kind of do it quickly in our heads because most of it's zero. Um, if the only amplitude here is e naught y, then that's all zero. And if it's just a real number, then it's just e naught y squared. And the square root of e naught y squared is e naught y. So if you divide it by e naught y, then that's still zero and that's one. All right, so the normalized uh, Jones vector for vertical polarization is zero, one, which isn't too surprising because the lower number is, is for vertical. Same argument here. If we were to normalize it, we'd find that the amplitude is 0, and then it's real. So it's the square root of e naught x squared. It's just e naught x divided by e naught x, and we get 1, 0, like that. So that's the normalized version of the horizontal polarization. And then linear polarization. It's not quite as quick, but I think we can still do it a little bit in our heads. Um, E naught, let's see, the horizontal component is E naught cosine alpha. So it's E naught cosine alpha, 
and it's real. So it really just is E naught squared cosine squared alpha plus E naught squared sine squared alpha. Okay, so the E naught squareds will come out and become an E naught, and then you have cosine squared alpha plus sine squared alpha. Well, that's one. Okay. So it works out that the amplitude is just E naught. And of course, you know the amplitude is E naught. And that's how we set it up. So when you divide it by E naught, the E naughts go away. So the normalized version of that one is just cosine alpha over sine alpha. So this is for any arbitrary polarization, not just 45 degrees like I illustrated. Any angle from the x-axis, the normalized vector is just cosine of the angle over sine of the angle. The reason we normalize them is when you use them later, you're going to send them through a, a many different material devices. And if you do that, you can multiply it through, and when you get it out, you get a ratio between what came out and what went in. So you want to send it in with an amplitude of 1, and then you can see what the amplitude was when it came out. So that's why we're thinking about them uh, normalized. 